All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future for our next deck, uh, Bant Tokens. This is a deck that um, uh, I've been excited to try out, and so this is one that I kind of put together myself. There's been some other, you know, Bant Tokens lists and everything, and this is like something that I just kind of been that I've had in my head here for a little bit. That, uh, like I said, that I've wanted to try um, with like these cards, like Deploy, Deputy, Dovin to go with Hero, Precinct One and everything. You know, I'm not 100% sure about all these numbers and everything. Shauna, Sisei's Legacy is another card that, like here, that I wanted to kind of try out as another two drop that uh, I think works pretty well with Hero Precinct 1 whenever you make more tokens. So like this card in particular, this is a card that um, I'm not super high on in like the, the Esper midrange decks that, that, you know, you see uh, Esper Hero and stuff. and Because I don't really value the one ones too highly like i don't think that they are that important unless you can really take advantage of them and i think the best way to take advantage of these extra of all these one ones is by playing cards like tristani and flourish that can make them bigger and um or uh, march of the multitudes that you know you get even more so so that's why i'm kind of excited to try this out with these cards because i think i think for hero to be good i think you want to kind of pair it with like flourish tristani march um so I want to try that in particular. Um, I thought about having like four honor guards in the main deck instead of like playing Shauna's and and instead of playing deputies, playing honor guards, um, and then having conclave tribunals in the deck also. So honor guards and and tribunals. Um, but then I realized that honor guards is not really that good with Tristani also. So I'm throwing the honor guards in the sideboard um, for a soul time matchup. We'll see if we even want and or need them. Uh, not so sure about that. Um, I've been more and more impressed with the Entrancing Melody just in general against a lot of decks, and so I wanted, wanted to fit an Entrancing Melody in here. And, uh, yeah, so that's what we got. Um, the only time you've liked Hero is in Mardu with Judith. Yeah, Judith can make them useful. Judith's a, another good payoff for those tokens. All right, so Bant Tokens... But I've, I've talked about plenty with, like, the different Bant decks we've been playing that I feel like the, the colors in Bant have lots of really good cards, but finding exactly where you want to be in Bant is kind of tough, and I still haven't found exactly that yet. Um, but I don't have any formations against Sweepers, so I'm going to just try to not to uh, extend as much as I need to against Sweepers, I suppose. I think that's my plan. Oh, great. Forest, breeding pool, all white cards. All right, mana's already looking good. <laughs> that first opening hand, that was ugly. Yeah, I'll keep that Dovin. Dovin fits our curve nicely. Uh, we're on the draw. Never lucky. Well, speaking of sweepers, this is but this is Gates. Gates usually has plenty of sweepers. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I'm hoping too. And that's that's like so these if we make a bunch of one ones, Dovin's another good payoff for one ones also. Ugh. So do I want to History or Dovin? I think I want a Dovin. This Your no loss mirror. will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. So Dovin's already at five loyalty. Uh, ultimate's at seven. So again, I just don't think we need to put more on the battlefield, considering our opponent's probably going to use some kind of sweeper. Ugh. That thing's scary. Alright, never mind. That thing's kind of scary. Hmm.
Um, I think the I think Bant has a lot better payoffs for a hero. Um, oh, the deckless. Oh, I didn't update the deckless command. Yeah, I can I can certainly tap uh, Gatebreaker Ram so it doesn't hurt Dovin. But that's I don't know. That's just like a you know that's. That's not a long-term solution to this Gatebreaker Ram problem. Hmm. Well, that's that's pretty good news. All right, there, deck list again. That's pretty good news that our opponent's coiling. That usually means they don't have a sweeper. Let's get this ram out of here. Oh. Get that ram out of here. Seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. Yeah, I, I actually, I feel like we've done pretty good of weathering that Gatebreaker Ram and um, and an explosion. I'm pretty happy about both of that. Ugh, Gate Colossus. Nothing for this Ajani to do, really. I mean, I could, so again, Ajani took up on these, um, on these things. Make them three threes. Three threes can block Colossus. I kind of want to just like deploy and then march the following turn. Now let's go ahead and just let's go ahead and Johnny take up. Our kinship ensures our victory. You are capable of more than you assume. So now they, they they can kill one of our planeswalkers with the gate colossus. Oh, no, they had a sweeper. I am sorry. I must go. Hmm. This is just a small example of my genius. It's going to be tough. We can still pull this off if our opponent has no more sweepers. And if we draw Tristani. Well, I'm glad they're casting the guild summit there. All right, Flourish is good. Flourish is perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six.
Do we have this? 15, 18, 21, 24. Yeah, if our opponent has nothing, this is lethal. Opponent has nothing, we got lethal. Man, March of the Multitudes and Flourish. That's such a combo. Whenever that those two came out, um, I played those at the first open. I was just calling it Splinter Twin. Like we just Splinter Twin our opponent. We just this is just Deceiver Etch Arc and Deceiver Etch Arc and Splinter Twin. So we just twin comboed. Just does like infinite damage basically. March and flourish. Um Melody's good against Ram. Melody's real good against Ram. Take a Johnny's out. Uh, making our creatures bigger against all their sweepers isn't too necessary. Uh, deputy attention against a bunch of these sweepers, probably not so good either. So if we cut those, bring in Melody, Negates, Disdainful Stroke, Knight of Autumn. What's Disdainful Stroke really countering? I guess Big Explosion. Uh, countering 8-8 eight, eight isn't like the most important thing in life. Um, probably to cut some Shauna's. Whoops. And what else? One March. I'm gonna trim one March with them killing all of our stuff. I don't know, just think, like countering Circuitous Route. Oh, Hawkeye's gone. Okay, I messed up my tie bar. Circuitous Route's another good card to Disdainful Stroke. But yeah, maybe I don't. Maybe we don't need the Disdainful Strokes. We'll see. The Angel. Countering that Angel could be really nice. I think we'll keep the two lander here. Like, double hero. Yeah, Unbreakable Formation would be really good for this matchup, for sure. Alright, deck, we need to draw some lands. You can do it, deck. I believe in you. Please don't play a guild summit this turn. Man. I don't have my negate available that turn. Oh, worst case scenario right there. <laughs> yeah, that was a good win, Glue King. Uh, got a few good cards from packs this weekend. Not sure how to use them though. Um, yeah, you can check out, so if you go to, uh, my decks RVN, just kind of, kind of scroll through there and look for anything that says Orzov. See if there's anything that, uh, looks interesting. So anything that catches your eye. You can, you can see any of those cards, or any of those decks, you can watch the, um, you can watch the them play out on my YouTube channel also. YouTube.com slash C slash Todd Stevens MTG. We're going to be doing a 12 hour stream whenever we get to.
Um, whenever we get to 1,500 YouTube subscribers also, we're not, not too far away from that. Alright, so that's lethal. Yeah, so I could play the march to put put three more creatures on the battlefield, but I'd probably just need to hold up negate there because it's already lethal. So we're at 1443 for YouTube subs. Alright. We're getting there. Alright, picked up a win. I already like this deck. One game in. We win that first game. Certainly didn't seem like we were going to be winning that first one. Let's get uh, Smothering Powers is almost ready to go on YouTube. Uh, Rakdos Burn. I was hoping this was like more of a control deck with us having, like our hand was really good against control with History Banalia, um, Dove into Fairy. You know, like all these cards are just, you know, good threats against control. So that's what I was kind of hoping for our opponent. Izareth. Oh, just History. Hey, justice has come. Glad you're here in time to catch a catch a uh, some live magic. Eyes are kind of a problem. So we can play Amara and Shauna. That costs us two life to shock in, but then. Shauna could theoretically be able to block Izareth. They don't have removal. You ra. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the stream. Um, I can just dove. I can also just dove in. I kind of want to dove in, actually. No, it's probably just history. All right, history into history. It's just the thing to do. Do you like how Dovin does get to gain a life and, and get a better blocker for Pyromancer? Howdy. Alright, so that gets us to sub number 8 on the day, 79. There. Wow, no attacks. I love our opponent not attacking at least even with either of these. I feel like they should attack with both of those. Well, I will certainly attack. I would love to trade. Oh man, they had that even? We could have attacked with Izareth. I double block. And then they cast down. Well, we got pretty fortunate here. Alright, let's... Hmm. Double spell... And not have to shock. Alright, so this makes uh, 2 2 zombie tokens in tapped. So we don't have to worry about, like, in combat, um, some surprise 2 2 zombie coming in. Make this Shauna bigger. And then whenever we attack with Amaro, make another creature. Shauna's now a five power. Oh, 
And we still have the Teferis chilling. Oh, yeah, you didn't get a notification of the stream? Oh, well, yep, we're still here. Still here. Ah, Gruesome Menagerie. There we go. Well, they only have one. They just have a two drop, so they can get one of the two drops. Because their three drop was exiled. I guess those two don't really work very well together. Graveyard Marshal and Menagerie. Yeah, it's going pretty good today. Activision, Activision Blizzard fired lots of people. Oh, no. That's a lot of people. 775? That's odd. I thought Blizzard was just doing really well and everything. Record year for earnings call. Oh, that's tough. I don't think Menagerie's bugged. I don't know. Does my opponent think they can get both two drops, maybe? Maybe they think they can get both of the cards? Oh, their stock value is really bad, though. It went down 50... Oh, their stock value went down 50% this year. Gotcha. It was bugged a long time ago, but they fixed the bug with Menagerie. Because I, I play that card quite a bit, and it hasn't been bugged the last few times. This zombie's pretty cool. That zombie's dropping the mic. It's one cool zombie. Oh, it's not... Oh, it could just be a different bug. It's good. Maybe it's not fully fixed. Hmm. Well, opponent, we're going to win this game. There you go. Okay. So, still work for them. Very good. All right, let's go into Fairy. Draw a card. I guess I could tuck that token, I suppose. What hurts them? Whenever a cr creature you control dies, create a two two. Whenever any other non-token creatures die. That's kind of cool. So we can use the... So, like, we can... Kind of do the, like, end step, like... Cast a really big March of Multitudes. I'm just going to do this right now. I guess. Yeah, I mean, this is just lethal. With... Shauna... To say his legacy get, getting even bigger. Thanks, Waticus. Sons and daughters. Alright, so we'll have some shalais. I think that's kind of all I want. I don't think I want Night of Autumn. You're just going to bring in a couple Shalai's and maybe trim a couple of Johnny's. Just kind of go a little more defensive there. Um, I could trim Teferi. I could, like, take a Teferi out, put a Knight of Autumn in. And we'll do that. Take one Teferi out for one Knight of Autumn. That looks good. <laughs> we don't have one Huatli for the ult. Maybe we should, though. Wally is a uh, is a like the Huali ultimate is really good. You get to Huali ult, you're really doing it. 
Do you think Mesmerizing Benthid can ha find a home in any standard deck? Um, <laughs> I think the biggest problem for Mesmerizing Benthid is kind of the decks you'd want to put it in. Biogenic Ooze is, does a little more for you. Um, which is kind of tough there. They, they just have Biogenic Ooze in the same set. Um, I like the card though. I I wish I would see more could see more play, but I'm not not too high on it though. My favorite deck right now, I honestly don't really have a favorite deck. I'm still kind of tr trying to kind of find that. Um, we played a uh, Bant Flash deck yesterday, which is the deck I'd, I've had like the most success with right now, and it would be like the deck that I'd play at a tournament, but. I feel like it's it's still a little off. I'm kind of trying like some band tokens here, seeing how seeing how we like some band tokens. Um, I feel like these band colors just have so many good cards. It's just figuring out exactly which of the cards you want to have in your deck isn't the easiest. We got a lot of these deputies. I'm pretty sure this deputy is just going to eat a removal spell. Yeah, yeah, that's what I just said. Was Bant Flash. But you might you might type that before I said that though, with the delay and everything. I have not played Azorius Aggro. Uh no Bo, I'm not really planning on going back to the paper scene. As of now. Keeping the stream stuff going. Is the bent is the best band card Nexus? Nah. Yeah, I think Bant Flash is stronger than Esper Midrange, yes. Um so de these deputies are really nice with Shalai. Of course, we our opponent can't can't deal damage to them, or you know can't target them. They need a sweeper to be able to kill the deputies, or just some removal for Shalai first. Oh, Mookie Bear's been playing a Bant Simic Ascendancy deck. That sounds pretty interesting. If I hold Shalai back, I can march for two. That's probably not necessary, though. Uh, we get three tokens by marching for two because of Amara. Um, I don't think we need to do that. So I think I may just like sit back here and march for a million. Yeah, let's just let's just march for a million. And then, uh, nice. All right, well, that's probably game. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Especially if we if we draw a land and we get to activate, um, if we get to activate uh, Shalai, that's certainly game. Hmm. All right, we did not. Could put millions of loyalty counters on Dovin. All right, so if I attack out, they block a deputy, take uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, never mind, they're just dead. So they block the 2-2. Two, two. 
Um, they're still taking 14. So actually, they're just dead. Yeah, hexproof only just means like our opponent can't target it. That's all hexproof means. But yeah, we can. St we still get to do the um, convoking with those cards. All right, got that win. Two and one. Or not two and one, two and oh. Even better. Two and oh. Two and oh. Two and oh on the Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, poor Rakdos deck. Rip, rip Rakdos. You don't see too many Naya Zoo decks around, so this will be pretty interesting to see our opponent's Naya Zoo deck. You're welcome, RVN. Have a good have a good evening as well. Get that studying done. Alright. I think I'm gonna go ahead and shock in here. We have a lot of two drops that we could draw. Um I hope our opponent's playing Naya Zoo. A substitute for March of the Multitudes in this deck. I think you kind of have to change the deck up um, if you don't have like the wild cards for March of the Multitudes. I don't think you'd really want to be playing Hero Preseek to want flirt. Basically, you kind of want to play a different deck. March is kind of the payoff for a lot of the other stuff that you have going on here. You may want to play like the like the Bant Flash deck from yesterday. Hmm. Wonder what how wonder what kind of band deck our opponent's playing. So many different band decks. They could be playing so many different things. All right, not wilderness reclamation. So I like I like getting like this threat that um, can stay out on the battlefield even though Look even if our opponent uses a sweeper. So I'm playing the Ajani here. And now after this Ajani, we get just to just kind of sit back and just have deploy and march and things like that. Certainly see settle. I will lend you my strength. I'm not gonna attack with the hero. I'll just attack with the vigilant creatures. Hmm. Yeah, Bant Fog is going to be kind of tough. I don't think we really need the Flourish. I think kind of any of our attacks are going to be lethal.
Be strong. This is your favorite deck <laughs> that we're playing against. This isn't isn't a great one. This isn't a great one to play against. I of course don't want to draw lands like that either. Um, except basic land. I don't want to draw basic land because it's all the wreckage. I don't think, I don't know about ulting a Johnny if that really matters too much. If they just take infinite turns, the Ajani ult doesn't do anything. Deliver us to victory. Hmm. You know, the good news is they haven't found Teferi. That's the good news, so they're not drawing lots of cards a turn. Another root snare. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and ult the Johnny. I'm not sure if it's gonna do a whole lot for us though. Gotta get some cats in here too. We got knights and cats and humans and elf clerics. Some more human warriors. And we could deploy some Thoptas if need be. Alright, cats, go get on in there. See in yeah, yesterday and today there's I been a lot of the disconnections on Arena last two days. We have like infinite creatures. Only two lands, though. Drew that other planes. I wonder if I should... Uh... wonder if I should... Just cast Depose just to draw a card. I don't know what I'm... What, like, interaction do I have for my opponent, game one? I don't think I really do have any interaction for them. I mean, Deputy of Detention... Um, or Teferi. I suppose Deputy Detention could get something, or Teferi could draw his cards. We want Shalai would mean that Settle doesn't work anymore. I know we find my responsibility. Shalai. No time for a break. Let's attack tap Amara. Should I just cast a march? Kind of like, why not, right? Three, four, five, six. Yeah. We are we already have infinite creatures anyway. Keep up the pace. <clears throat> All 
Alright, I like seeing that land. Yuck. Good news is we're we're really good against Teferi Emblem. Teferi Emblem's not really beating us. We kind of need to have a fog. Kind of have to just keep on having fogs and settles and stuff like that. Hurry! All right, three cards. What do you got, opponent? No more nexuses. Shock? What are you shocking for? Well, there's no Wilderness Reclamation. They do get to untap two lands. So they have enough for a fog. They could have their fourth fog in hand. That's their that's their only out right now is fourth fog. I already have already have three in the graveyard. You attack over there. You attack over there. That's four. All right, I think we'll see if 27 attackers can get it done. Alright, looks like 27 attackers got it done. Yeah, I know a fog would have denied that as well, but I was if they didn't have fog, I was killing Teferi and killing them. I was gonna do it. Alright, Stainful Stroke, Nagate, uh, Night of Autumn, Shalai is good versus Settle. I guess I don't even have Shalai in the main deck, so but yeah, Shalai is good. Um we had the donation deck of Smothering Powers uh, earlier, so bumped. Um, Mario Angels got bumped. King Toll, don't use that language. I know it's frustrating, though. So this is 70. Um, I think I like a Johnny. Dovin, yeah, Dovin cool. Is it? Yeah, Dovin cool. Depose, deploy. Hmm. What are the cards that I'm cutting? Tristani, March. Probably just don't need March. Like when we have a bunch of creatures, we don't really need more creatures. I like how like deploy is like instant speed, like whenever they use a, a sweeper. If they have like a cleansing nova or whatever. This is 64. Sixty two. I had to click some other things. I guess I took out an Ajani and a Dovin. Took out one, one Dovin, one Ajani. Dovin really, like, the, the what Dovin can do is just tick up and uh, ultimate and let us find, let us look at, like, the top ten cards and grab three of them so we can find more counter spells. Um, 
That's kind of all Dovin does. Whoa, why do I have these deploys in? Didn't I take those out? Are they saying I didn't click OK in, in time, I guess? Well, that's a tilt. No counter spells in my deck. Sure, I clicked. I guess. I guess they said I didn't click OK in time. I guess. Yeah, I clicked submit. I thought I did at least. I was over here clicking it. You're pretty far behind, DJ Polly B. Yeah, so no shall eyes for us. Um, yeah, thankfully we won the first one, so we were we have a game to to kind of throw away here. Cause yeah, I don't I don't have like disenchants there. I don't have like my Knight of Autumns. These cards would not necessarily be in my deck too much. I will gladly point out of my genius. Yeah, we have three negate, two disdainful stroke, three knight of autumn, a bunch of stuff in the sideboard we want to bring in, a couple shalais. Our opponent looks to have a strong hand. Ooh, that's a good card. That's a good card. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. Give me that. Take up and put another three loyalty counters on Dovin. Honestly, maybe I should have just tap the. No, that's that's the thing. Yeah, if I if I just tap and try to go for um, as Kanta, then they get to attack back at Dovin. I, I want the Do Dovin to ultimate. That's where I'm kind of going at right now. Trust me, you'll thank me later. You know what? I'm not done yet. I'm just gonna cycle this to pose. This is no mere trinket. So Teferi, tuck there, Teferi. This isn't a fight you can reverse. All right, next turn we can ultimate dove in, and not really, probably find very much to get because we don't have anything. We don't have any of our cyborg cards. <laughs> this isn't a fight you can reverse. <laughs> it's like, okay, we'll go the correct way. So the good thing about the Nexus of Fate there is it does shuffle that Teferi back in somewhere. Dang it, they had another one. So I was gonna say it's not just like on top Sorry, I'm immediately. Late. You need to slow down. 
Uh, they're at four cards in the graveyard right now, so a little ways away from flip in search for Escanta. So we get to, with the help of Dovin, we can refine that deputy if we get another turn. We may not get another turn, though. Hopefully next next uh, game, these deploys will actually be negates. That'll be nice. Just getting eight mana, you know, 10 mana. It's just so much extra mana. Really makes Chemister's Insight, you know, incredible when you have all that free mana. Hmm. So I can I can cycle depose and just draw the deputy and then ultimate Dovin. No, I just want to ultimate Dovin. I, I think that's fine. So I want to be able to cast multiple I deputies if we can. So we have upgrade. one deputy, two deputies, and I don't know, Ashana. A whole lot of land going out of the bottom. So that's good. Take this. Take that. I don't think we're going to win this. <laughs> yeah, Kalua King, I have, I have no idea how Wilderness Reclamation made it out the door either. I have no idea how that card was printed. That's a tough one. Take an Ascanta over what? Over like Reclamation? Oh, I didn't. Do anything with Dovin. I should attack with this deputy also. I guess that deputy could get settled because of Hydroid Crisis. I guess I'll just make a token then. I'm inspired by a good assault. Uh, how does our opponent win? Ascanta just finds them another reclamation, which gives them a whole lot of mana, as lets them activate Ascanta a whole lot more times. Um, like they need to find another reclamation and kind of go from there. Teferi also helps that. Allows them to activate Ascanta a bunch as well. 
I'm known for my excellent timing. Not so fast. It's not like Ixalan's binding where they can't cast other Teferis. They can still cast other Teferis, as you can tell there. Well, I, I couldn't I couldn't keep them from getting another turn unless unless I would have attacked all out into, you know, settle or whatever. Game three, we'll at least have our sideboard in. Gonna make sure of that. Sideboard pretty important. No, it just takes all the the ones with the same name, but it's not it's not like binding. Or they can't cast it. Yeah, our opponent did not see any sideboard tech, that's true. Yeah, so if they had like three wilderness reclamations on the battlefield, the deputy detention would take all of the wilderness reclamations. So 64. Sixty-two. Um sixty. I have noticed that whenever I do play against Nexus decks, I usually lose, uh, you know, a noticeable amount of viewers when I'm when I'm paired against Nexus. Uh, tokens do not beat the Teferi ult because they just take all the turns, so you you don't get any. You you know, Johnny ult doesn't really matter when you don't have any turns. You don't get any. You don't get any uh, tokens when you don't have a turn. We're getting all of our top end. I basically took out the top end of the deck. We only had three Teferis and two Marches. We already have all those. We need some other stuff. Okay. Land is fine, I suppose. Yeah, no, Nexus is... Oh, I, I don't blame people for... For leaving with uh, Nexus out. It is... It's not fun. Really hope our opponent doesn't have negate. You know what? I'm not done yet. That gross spiral, even though we were on the play, the gross spiral is letting them cast a fairy first. I mean I could I could play deputy, which doesn't get negated or disdainful stroked, or basically any counter spell. But it's certainly better to have Teferi on the battlefield.
But it's just if our if our opponent counters the Teferi though, it's just kinda it's just so bad for us. Even though this isn't great. Has the magic community ever hated a card more than they hate Nexus right now? Aetherworks Marvel is the same kind of thing. People did not like Aetherworks Marvel at all. So if I tuck Krasis... Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to tuck Krasis. I just want to play Teferi. I just want Teferi on the battlefield. If you show remote, you need to take a time out. I know they can draw even more cards later, but... I think just having Teferi on the battlefield for us, for us drawing multiple cards a turn, is going to be important. We haven't seen any sideboard cards still. Still haven't drawn one. Yeah, not a single one of these cards is sideboard. So even though we just brought in 10 cards, haven't seen one in any game yet. Well, at least tucking the Krasis means it just gets shuffled back with the Nexus. Why does this need to be a card? Learn a circulation. Like, why? How can you spend like eight mana on something and then you just have all eight mana still? Well, I hope not, Rail. That means it'd still be legal by then. I don't know the goal of what Wilderness Reclamation is supposed to do. Like, what what was their goal of having that card legal? Like, what did they? What was like the the good outcome of having a card that gets you this much mana? Basically, all the almost every mistake in Magic. Basically, every single mistake in Magic is just something that gives you way too much mana. That's like what Aetherworks Marvel did. Um, it allowed you to cast, you know, huge Eldrazi, you know, on turn four. Um, so I don't, I don't know why they print things that just can give you such abundances of mana. So imagine it was for Simic to make Adapt not hurt so badly. Yeah, you can kind of go back and like look throughout Magic's history of stuff that was banned. Um, kind of all just centers around having way, way, way too much mana at a time you shouldn't have that much mana. All right, so we're two and one. Um, Really hurt by by playing game two where we didn't get to didn't sideboard for game two, that really hurt us. Um, you know, so we had to like win like the one sideboard game and and we just didn't draw a single sideboard card. Also, so didn't see a single sideboard card in the matchup, even though we had brought ten in. <laughs> so that makes it tough to win. I, 
I'm not going to shock here to cast Flower with us already having the four mana. Um, we may cast it on turn two. We'll see. But not going to shock. Gates. Gates is a tough matchup. Uh, we barely uh, squeaked by the first time with Gates. We'll see if we can do it again. Having six lands not where we want to be. Kind of like seven lands and count flower. Statistically You're doing likely to fail. fail. I'm playing 22 lands in the deck. And then four flowers. I'm inspired by a good assault. So deputy, deputy is pretty bad here with all of the sweepers they have. So I'm just gonna put the deputy in play. Elegance in simplicity. So I'm hoping my opponent does not wrath only the three creatures, of course, because we're going to kill them next turn. But I would try to do like the the fake. There we go. Very good. I, I tried to do like the fake attack. Because it's kind of too obvious if I just don't attack. Right? If I'm just like easily passed, it's kind of too obvious. But if I do like the fake attack, I can kind of pretend like something happened with like the like a kind of glitch and I meant to attack. I, I really wanted to minus Dovin, but if I just minus Dovin and then don't attack, it's super obvious. If I, if I minus Dovin there. And there's our there's Splinter Twin. Deceiver Ochark into Splinter Twin. Combo kills everybody. Alright. Just don't have opponents cast sweepers. So we have Disdainful Stroke, Negate, um, I brought in Entrancing Melody last time because they had they had the ram. Really needed to be able to kill the ram. Uh, Deputy is straight up out of here. I like a Johnny Dovin. Um, I kind of like the rest of these. What else am I taking out? I guess I took out the Shauna's. Um, more things that just kind of died as sweet. It just dies to a sweeper. It doesn't really do a whole lot before that. Yeah, I brought in Melody against Ram last time. We didn't see any Ram there, but they probably still have Ram. What are the other two cards that I'm cutting? What else did I cut? Maybe a Tristani. I think I might have taken out a Johnny.
We're gonna try this without Melody. No, I should just play Melody, right? Like, they're gonna play Krasis or something. I'll just play that over a Deploy. Yeah, yeah you can <laughs> depose Amara. We did that earlier. Um, it didn't really matter, you know, like we're playing against a Turbo Fog deck and we had infinite creatures, so the extra creature didn't really matter, but we did it earlier and it was pretty sweet. Alright, too many fives here. Let's go ahead and ship that. Alright, we'll try this out. Ooh, we'll take that hero. Thank you. I think I'm going to save this. Save the flower until we have hero. So we can go turn two hero, turn three. History or Dovin. And then turn four, we can cast Flower plus other History or Dovin. Uh, basically, it's just for Sultai, for Chikali Honor Guard. Um, looks like we're banaling. I'm glad I I'm glad I did have the the entrancing melody in the deck right about now. I'd like to draw it. Because yeah, Gatebreaker Ram's a huge problem for us. It's just so big and it has trample. Just too big. Nah, history is not multicolored, but it's certainly worth it. Um I really think my opponent's just going to cast a sweeper here. Hmm. Can we even beat a sweeper is like the question. I don't know if we can. Dovin's probably the best at helping us beat a sweeper because I, of my opponent attacks Dovin. Of That's good. You know, like I want, I want that life. I want that that amount of life if an opponent attacks Dovin. Crap. I only have eight power. Can't gang up and block the ram. Yeah, the trample on Ram is so brutal. I stand on the shoulders. I just have giants. to just play everything. It's the trample on the Ram. Of course, if one of those cards is a sweeper. We dead. I think that's trample also. 
draw this entrancing melody. We cannot. I'm inspired by a good assault. I mean, I can't, I can't kill my opponent with Flourish this turn. I can try next turn. Last turn, I wasn't killing my opponent. Hmm. But the next turn with like the pump from the the history and everything. The tough part about taking out deputies is I don't have removal anymore. Maybe I need to keep in some deputies. They're so bad against all their sweepers. I think we just have... I think we just keep it like this. We have to ferry the Kentuck. Um, a Johnny could... Turn into Shalai. Shalai better than a Johnny? No, I like a Johnny. All right, game three. Hopefully, we have two drops. Gross. I guess. Um, I'm going to need the fourth land. So it doesn't look so good for us. <laughs> there you go, Great Scott. Come on, Arena, let me do things. Thank you. Tapped. Get a planes. Ugh, go from here. Um, yeah, chances of winning, very low. So winning quite low. But pressuring our opponent with a 4-3 is certainly step number one. Don't think we're in the position just to sit back and wait for them to have some kind of enchantment for Knight of Autumn to destroy. They have the you know their deck is so powerful. They have such a they have they can go way over the top in the late game, so we gotta try to pressure them out. Oh. I'm certainly glad I kept the land on top before. You hate phones, but love deploy. I mean, deploy deploy is really good when you're not getting being down by a bunch. Ah, these plazas, six life. So much life. Hmm. 
You're gonna need to play a five drop this next turn. So I'm glad glad I cycled there. Got the got the extra card to get got us to the land here. Okay, not a counter spell. And I like that our opponent did this before Teferi resolved, so we get to tuck the ram, and now the ram's down Let's there. If they would have just um, let that happen, let me tuck, and then they draw two, and then they're drawing the ram for turn, and then they get to play the ram again. So that's pretty big. I don't, like, so Tristani could have dealt more damage there, but Tristra playing Tristani there just really walks into a sweeper. Um, and so kind of worried, you know, so pretty worried about that. Yes, yeah, so they could have had they could have had ram right after that. All right, now that ram's gone. That's good. That's good news. The ram's gone. Now I get to play Let's Tristani to good after the sweeper. Wait a minute. I just realized I have Entrancing Melody and Tristani in the same deck. I guess that's not the best deck building. Hmm. It's not the best deck building. But I've played worse non bows before. No big deal. Whoa. Whoa. That is really bad for me. Now they just get to have a sweeper? Are you kidding me? They just get to untap and have Sorcerer Speed Sweeper now? Come on. Okay, not a sweeper. Not a sweeper. That's good. Yeah, Tristani's pretty generous. Would, would give the creature back. Find new Tristani. Hold that thought. Or counterspell. All right, I'll take counterspell. Neutrasani would have, of course, been really good. If I'm not negating this, what am I negating? <laughs> Save the babies. All right, we got an expansion out of them. At least. Only four cards. Down to three. Back up. I can only march for two. So if I march for two here and I draw Flourish, I kill them. I think I go for Lethal with Flourish. Let's try it. Come on, Flourish. You can do it. Flourish. Ah. Uh, 
Saw the green white. I thought that was it. Hmm. Let's skip to the good part. I completely regret using the march. I don't know if we win anyway, though, because we're not going to be doing so good in the late game. Yeah. That's the thing. I didn't really have much confidence that we could win otherwise. We need our first card to be Flourish, because it would have turned those into six, and then we would have used a fairy to tuck the Krasis. So they didn't have a blocker. Well, the good news is it seems like the opponent just doesn't have very much left. It's gonna work. That's gonna work. We must have just flooded out. Whew. All right, three and one. That one did not look good. Did not look so good. 3-1. All right, let's do let's do a little reset. It's been it's been lagging quite a bit here. Um, you know, being on for 6 hours or so. Just do a quick 30 second reset. Yeah. We do need a final boss today. That's a good good call. Yeah, we haven't we haven't uh, fought a final boss yet today. So we gotta win this one so we can get to the final boss. Alright, yeah, that was looking, looking bad for us, but here we go. New life. White mana. All right. Try this out. Because the flower could have been a white source, but now that we have the white source, that's really good. So we can still go. We can go turn two Amara, turn three Shauna, plus flower. I like playing Amara immediately, and getting having it attack so we can start making some 1-1s. One one Alright, hopefully all these honor guards that we have in the sideboard do something for us here in this matchup. It's really hard for our opponent to kill Shauna Sisei's legacy. You know, they have Cast Down, does not kill Shauna. They have, like, Chubacabra or Hostage Taker, they cannot take Shauna. The only thing that they play is, like, Contempt. So if we can get Shauna to be really big, that could be nice. The problem is, of course, um, if our opponent's playing Finality, Finality can, like, kill all of our other creatures, which then kills Shauna. So Finality... 
is some trouble. Um. All right, land, please. Want to get this to fairy and play? Come on, land. Land, 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 land. Land. Land drop. Kind of like a land drop. You squint. <laughs> yeah, we got a guild gate. Yep. The dreaded guild gate. Hmm. Well, Lane of War Elf doesn't really... Playing Lane of War Elf here doesn't really, like spew confidence that a finality is coming next turn for the opponent. I think my play is Teferi, Tuck, the 3-5 walker. Wildgrowth Walker is certainly a card I wouldn't mind them drawing. I could. Alright, so our opponent has to have cast down. So our opponent has cast down. Yeah, I have five basics and four flowers. So yeah, there are, there is certainly a time where Flower can miss, but the thing is, is, Flourish is an awesome card. So if you're at the point where Flower is missing, you, you just want to hold it for Flourish at that point anyway, if you already have your five basics. Because um, Flourish is a really good card. So it's not so bad. Oh, I guess there is a different question, though. How low on the land count can we go if we play four Flower Flourish? Plus four Open the Gates? I wouldn't recommend playing open the gate ever. But I guess if you're trying to go super low on land count. I mean, you'd want just lots of basics, I, think, I guess, at that point. I don't know. What if I Teferi tick up? Maybe I should just tick up. We need to move quickly. We don't get to attack here. But if they do have, like, Contempt, I'm, I'm at least replacing Teferi with the card. This is hardly my worst defeat. Well, that cast down being Assassin's Trophy instead is certainly a lot worse for us. March of the Multitudes, where are you at? Not there. If they do have if they do have finality, we're we're very dead, but can't beat finality, no reason to try to play around it. All right, so Shauna, I want Shauna to come out. All right, so all these honor guards are coming in, so that means I guess I'm taking out Deputy. Um, and let's bring in Melody and Negate. Um, 
So that's 64. Tristani doesn't work the best with Honor Guard, but still a really strong card. Um, maybe I don't need to deploys. Amara isn't like super strong in this matchup. Let's trim an Amara. Especially without having a uh, Conclave Tribunal. I just get rid of all the Amaras. Like two Amaras. Keep one in. And then one deploy or one Dovin or one a Johnny. I like I like how a Johnny can get back on our guard. And I like how a Johnny ticks up and, and makes creatures survive finality I'll get rid of one deploy no maybe one Tristani oh I guess I gotta get rid of two cards all right one deploy and one Tristani March isn't so good against finality but Weird hand. I guess it's up bringing in Melody also. That's another reason to trim on Tristani. Unfortunately, um, there we go. Are they going to be casting a spell next turn? I guess maybe. I can probably pay. I can pay two life. Well, no, let's just flower here. Let's get another green. I may just honestly take that land war elf with. I may just entrancing melody that land war elf next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. slow them down quite a bit and it speeds us up where next turn I can like play Teferi and have negate available after ticking up protect Teferi Ugh. never mind can't can't protect Teferi now Oh right, they they are not able to not able to cast Vivian next turn. All right, history. I try to ambush this Vivian Reed with deploy. Fine, yeah. let's skip to the good part. Let's play to fairy. Well, Tristani would give our opponent their Llanowar Elf back. Um, if we tap Jade Light 
and then play Tristani and attack Vivian. Yeah, we will be able to. And then they'll get their land of war off back. Yeah, we would be able to kill Vivian there. And we wouldn't need to tuck with Teferi. So yeah, that could certainly work. Hmm. Tilt. Alright. Opponent did not jump block, unfortunately. Alright, I guess they're just getting their... Guess they're just gonna get their land war off back. Please block the land war off. Block land war off. Block land war off. Yes. Yes. I mean, they could certainly just be finalitying here, though. That'd be really bad. I mean, but can't stop it. So they could just, I mean, I guess if, if that's the case, if they're going to finality, they should have just blocked the 5-4. The they would have just, I guess they could have just chump blocked. Their plan was just a finality. Down to down to nine. And not the best spot to play a Vivian. All right, no creature. Because I can just cast deploy and then go for lethal. How this thing goes is up to you. That is something that I've seen could things do. that would break someone like you. Get a crisis. Go ahead, take up, find a crisis. That's fine. Hmm. Do I tap or make two twos? I guess making two twos is probably better. I kind of like tapping and just drawing a new card. Yeah, I'm going to I want to draw a new card. I think the the card quality of my deck's pretty high right now. And then if we can find something like Mark of the Multitudes or or to fairy Not or you know just like yet. so many different cards that are just really really strong and making some more tutus just kind of to your record of bad decisions isn't so good against um a sweeper and, and that's like the thing i'm most most scared of well dovin plus if we if we take up dovin there it's only whenever Creatures deal combat damage to a player. We're killing the Vivian, so it wouldn't have got any loyalty. We would have only just got one loyalty. Alright, negate's good. Negate's good. Um, I could take up here. Do we think they would double block... Yeah, actually, I like taking up here. Do you think they would double block Tristani? I constantly seek to if I attack with Tristani. They take seven. I'm eh, just not gonna let them. 
Jade Light's the best creature they have to get back. Like they would go to they would go to two if they double block Tristani, which I don't know, maybe they'd be a little scared of like a depose or something killing them. Yeah, yeah, y'all think that they would double block Tristani there. Yeah, so just playing it safe, not attack with Tristani. Oh, Krasis was in there. I forgot about Krasis. Kind of forgot about Krasis there. So they have Krasis for six. Now Krasis for only five. So that's one last card. Oh, they have the Lanowar Elf. The Lanowar Elf still makes it six. On the shoulders of giants. Maybe I should have minus dove in the previous turn as well. Instead of plus. No, there's not really any artifact X in the metagame. Chris. Um, no, there's just not, they're just not good enough. Not good enough artifacts. The chaining very large crisis part of the game is not where we want to be. And I don't even have deputy detention in my deck right now because we have Takali honor guards that aren't doing anything. I was incorrect. Go ahead and gloat. Probably so dead. They have seven cards in hand. Whatever they're holding. Well, they they just drew a whole lot of cards with the two Krasis. They probably have a whole lot of really good things. I assume Tristani will probably die from, like, you know, Chupacabra or anything. I think just getting all this damage in is our best bet. Yeah, we'll see if they found a fine finality. Gotten just too many lands here. Nine, nine of our twenty-two, nine lands and twenty, and twenty cards. Just too much for us. the The real big, big thing was us having the Teferi and the opponent having like one of their like two contempts. That contempt on the Teferi um, was certainly really big. Let's tear 
this place, you can't stop nature. All right, well, the opponent gives us an out. If we draw Flourish, we win if we draw Flourish. The opponent gave us an out. Deploy. I'm going to say how many Flourish. We only saw one Flourish so far. We could actually won that with a flourish. How mad do you think the opponent would be for just like, you know, tapping out and putting Vivian into the play and stuff when shield. they already have millions of cards? And we just like get them with a flourish. Oh, you think I should just try to tap draw and try to I battle for the force. Tried to draw the flourish there. I think, I, like, I could see our opponent getting too cocky here, and us like having like these flyers that maybe get our opponent. Like, if they attack with both crises. We could have lethal. Dang, now they probably won't. Stupid duress. Well darn. So if I would have gone the tap draw, we would not have got the flourish, we would have got the Amara. <laughs> I'll make use of that later. It's pretty unlikely we win now. No one knows the wilds like I do. I mean, it's been pretty unlikely we win for a long time. Yeah, that flourish would have been would have been real nice to steal this game. Alright, clear off like three lands from the top of our deck opponent with the Steve Sandy, please. Let's see a bunch of lands. Or some spell that doesn't matter. Hmm. Took something over history. History was a good spell that didn't matter. Tristani? Did our opponent just punt? Did our opponent just punt this? If they don't have removal in these three cards, they're dead. But they're not playing other things. Like play play some play some spells. Play some jade lights. There you go. Good. They only have one blocker in the air in the air right now. We have three attackers in the air.
Go ahead and play, play another Jade Light. Go ahead. Jade Light. Jade Light. All right, let's try it. This is our out. Hopefully no instant speed removal. Oh, there they do. No. Boo. And then our opponent just has the Vivian ult. Yeah, if our opponent didn't have that, that instant speed removal, they would have just gave us that, that game. How crazy is that? Alright, so... Kind of got beat up by Sultai. We did draw lots and lots of lands. You know, we drew almost half of our lands there in our first 20 cards, um, which is pretty tough. Uh, didn't draw any of these honor guards, which we had at our sideboard. That didn't help out. And, of course, they we had, like, a good good first few turns, though, and we had, like, a, a nice Teferi set up. Um, and them having that contempt for the Teferi was... Uh, um, was kind of rough. All right, one one minute, last chance. Um, but overall, I'm not sure. So I, I miss not having deputy, honestly. So I don't think honor guard is where I want to be. Um, I think I want to keep the deputies. I think I want to do something else for that matchup. I don't know what, but I think I think I want to keep deputies and have something else. Like I don't know if I want like settles. Um, because uh, with them playing a bunch of duresses, it's kind of easy to see settle. Um, so I don't know. I don't know exactly what I want. Um, I'm not sold on this entrancing melody, of course, since we're playing Tristani. So that 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 kind of seemed a little bad, even though it was good for us that game, taking their land war off um, and getting out ahead. Um, but man, march of the think if we would have just drawn a march of the multitudes at all. You know, we had all four marches still in the deck for how much mana we had and them being at like three if we just draw a march of the multitudes that game's over deploy was okay it wasn't spectacular but it was okay i think that's that's about what i have there um so there we go uh deck still needs some work but i like what's going on here so here we go. All right, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, but uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.